You might have played a game where you fly a plane or build a roller coaster, or maybe you've seen a movie where computer graphics show a spaceship launching into Earth's orbit. Each is a type of simulation, or the use of computers to mimic the behavior of things in the world. Recently, new simulation techniques that take advantage of powerful hardware and quantum physics have become available, along with complex optimization algorithms that find favorable solutions to difficult problems. With these techniques in hand, we can learn about molecules, materials, and the world faster than ever before. Together, simulation and optimization allow researchers to study natural systems on a computer or in silico without having to physically work with them. Simulation helps make predictions about the weather, the financial market, the action of drug molecules in the body, or any number of other systems. Optimization refers to a set of mathematical techniques that help find optimal solutions to problems. These are usually implemented through computer algorithms, so optimization can be thought of as a way of using computers to tell us what we should do in a particular situation. Simulation and optimization are a powerful duo. An especially useful application is in drug discovery, which requires understanding how molecules interact with each other. The dynamics of these molecules are highly complex, obeying quantum laws which are very different from the familiar ones of daily life. But the equations describing them are known and can be used to create accurate movies of molecular motion on powerful computer hardware. That changes the process of drug discovery in fundamental ways. How so? These quantum simulations obey the same laws as the atoms, molecules, and other quantum systems that scientists need to simulate in order to find new drugs. And when these simulations are paired with powerful optimization techniques, not only can the drug discovery pipeline be significantly accelerated, but new knowledge about how these biological systems work can be generated. Those new insights then feed back into the drug discovery pipeline and increase the chances of finding effective treatments with minimal side effects. But simulating the quantum world on traditional, non-quantum hardware does have limits. As the simulated system gets more complex and closer to what's happening in the real world, the computational power needed grows exponentially. And that likely makes it impossible to achieve a perfect model of quantum physics on a traditional computer. The next revolution in quantum simulation will likely come when truly capable quantum computers are developed. These machines obey the same laws as the atoms, molecules, and other quantum systems that scientists want to simulate, which is to say they can do quantum simulations natively. But will this newfound accuracy practically impact drug discovery and material science? That remains an open question, but algorithms running on classical hardware developed to better understand quantum computation are showing great promise even today. Whether or not quantum computers push those advances even further, AI and quantum simulation and optimization are opening up a new era in our understanding and control of the world around us.